За сколько вы его прошли? Опа, а мы что, пиздим, да? I require all EXO fighters to participate in the combat tests. This is a two-team competitive scenario. Those on the other side are the enemy team. The first team to complete all of the assigned objectives wins. The winning team will be eligible for bonus existence. Data indicates that human beings improve their performance through competition. Compete to win and compete to live. Compete to achieve research excellence. Disengaging. Where's the emergency? Witch doctor's repair capabilities are indispensable. Support your allies on the battlefield by keeping them ship shape. Prepare for transfer to the combat zone. Enjoy the war game. Before you fight, interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have a super day. Dinosaur combat test. Exo fighters, follow the watcher. Initiating dinosaur test. Preparing combat. Please wait. Objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating Dinosaur Call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. Dinosaur Call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating Dinosaur Call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon Raptors. Nice work! Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. Dinosaur Call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Initiating Dinosaur Call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning Rocky Cephalosaurus. Summoning Raptors. Summoning 
Objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning Pachycephalosauruses. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. Summoning to Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives faster than the enemy team. Follow the Watcher. Proceed to next mission. Initiating Dinosaur Call Mission. Preparing combat. Please wait. Summoning a Triceratops. Faster than the enemy team. Warning. You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Prepare for combat. Warning. Has entered this dimension. You are at great risk of being attacked. Stay alert at all times. The final mission will be data key security. Proximity to the data key will cause it to advance. Escort it to the objective. If the data key is destroyed, remain in proximity to the objective. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Pteranodons. Summoning Tyrannodons. Summoning Raptors. The enemy data key has progressed 20%. Escort progress, 20%. I have awarded the enemy team a Dominator. They may invade with a hostile dinosaur. A Dominator has been generated for your team. Use the Dominator to commandeer a dinosaur and attack the enemies. Dominator active. Take advantage of this unique asset and defeat the enemies. Your allies are on the offensive with the enemy. The enemy data key has progressed 40%. Escort targets, 40%. Warning. 
The enemy team has activated the dominant. Enemy controlled dinosaur income. Prioritize its destruction. Summoning Tyrannosaurus. The enemy team is on the offensive. Fight back. Summoning Raptors. Summoning Tyrannodons. Escort progress six percent. And the data key has progressed 60%. Thanks, bud. Some of the raptors. Don't go break it down. Data key has progressed 80%. Escort progress, 80%. A well-balanced combat. Consider directly attacking enemy exo fighters. Stay near the data key to escort it and complete the mission. Preparations for aerial transfer of the data. Preparations progress more quickly when friendly exoplanets are near the data. Combat test complete. You completed all objectives before the enemy team. Your team is victorious.
Repeat, you are victorious. Best Exo Fighters in this war game. So Garrett Sainz, he is big deal. He's basically the IBS godfather. He was responsible for the entire Exosu project. He has anchored the vision. They are all smug jerks. Well, if so, he's the biggest, smuggest, jerkiest one of all. Sainz was the head of Anchor. He developed the first functional brainstem bypass and the artificial muscle fibers that revolutionized Exosu tech. That means he lived on the island. Right. And we found his skeleton. Oh, oh, what am I missing? But we didn't. Garrett Sines was one of the 413 survivors. He made it off the island. He did interviews. IBS launched a big PR cleanup after the Bikatoa incident. I mean, they kept Sines in the public eye for years after. Then why are his dusty white bones in our front lawn? My question exactly. Voice match confirmed. Garrett signs. Your suspicions were correct, Alders. Hey, hey, guys! You've got to get in here. Sandy's found actual audio of Garrett's signs from before the incident. Let's check it out. I'm elbow deep in fuel manifold. So unless this dead researcher can help me evenly distribute combustion mixture, I'm busy. Match, hold this cylinder. Oh, so this sounds boring. How will this be useful? I don't know, Madge. I haven't listened to it. Then you should do that. But at least Ace gets it. I mean, you get it, right, Ace? Oh. No? N no? Nothing? You're just gonna... We're walking away. That's brilliant. But you know what? Forget it. Here. Sir, y you can't just walk away. Dr. Sines, at least look at the data. Doctor, I'll make this quick. No, I'll make it quick. Yes, there's risk. This is cutting-edge science. There's always inherent risk involved when you're trying to do what's never been done. With all due respect, Dr. Sines, this goes beyond inherent risk. These are just hypothetical numbers, and not a reason to shortstop an incredible leap in our technological evolution. The capabilities of our vortexers will be revolutionary. And the only system advanced enough to operate the Stratovator is Leviathan. Without Leviathan, there is no leap, Doctor. And I'm certain you're not suggesting we wait for one of our competitors to beat us to it. But the side effects, Doctor Sines, the space-time distortions we're seeing. Every time Leviathan opens a vortex, distortion levels spike through the roof and bleed out into the surrounding space-time. Doctor... We're talking about the potential for catastrophic damage. Ibius would be responsible. Oh, these numbers are from obsolete vortexers. Once the new prototype is finished, these side effects will be a thing of the past. Our current equipment isn't capable of confirming that. The distortion could be profound. Enough. I'd like you to expand your perspective on this matter for just a moment. Our funding, your salary. All of it's contingent on the Vortexer project. Ibius has put considerable assets into Anchor Division to make this tech a reality. This Vortexer is the company's golden goose. There is no backing out. And there's no need. 
<laughs> Not when we have some of the most intelligent, responsible professionals like yourself in the IBS family. Or am I wrong? Wait, you are still part of the IBS family, aren't you? For the sake of due diligence, sir, at least read my report. Absolutely. Forward it to my office. <sighs> Asshole. Why is it you are always making Cindy see these things, huh? What are you on about? Oh, big smart guy, never did you think about what it is like to be made of machine and spend all day studying mangled machine? A cruel confrontation of mortality. I appreciate your concern, Victoria. However, the more data I am given regarding damage sustained in battle, the more targeted and detailed the tactical assistance I offer Ace can become. In short, I improve with study. <laughs> Too bad Ace can't say the same. Ah, uh, Sandy? I am ready to assist. Good, good, good. Because there is something I need your help with. You see this screwdriver anywhere else on the ship. I need you to move it from that location back to my desk right here. Right here is where it belongs. Happy to help. I will inform the rest of the crew of this new directive. Oh, no, 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 um, we don't need to tell anyone else about this. It is important the crew are made aware. There is a protocol for this screwdriver. It is important they are updated. But is it, is it, I mean, I think we can keep this between you and I. Inquiry. There are 11 screwdrivers and one adjustable wrench currently available on the carrier. Why does this screwdriver hold special significance? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, look, Sandy, um, this is not your average screwdriver. It's the best screwdriver. Perfect balance with a reassuring weight when gripped, and it's never chewed a single screw head ever. How many screwdrivers can say that? Sandy, you use a tool like this screwdriver day in and day out sometimes. It is the only tool you know you can trust. It stops being just metal and rubber. It's more than that. Do you understand, Sandy? This screwdriver has a... soul. This screwdriver has a soul. And that soul, Sandy, that soul cries out. It cries. I want to help orders drive us some bloody screws. And this is why it belongs right there on your desk. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. And, and that is also why we must keep an eye on Ace. Sticky fingers, that one, if you know what I mean. I will post a written reminder of workplace hygiene standards. No. Don't... Well... Actually... Yeah, why not? I have located an anchor division accident report. Not a report of the bigger toe incident, surely. We found that data during the war game. You are correct. This report documents an earlier Vortexer incident within anchor division. Earlier? Ace? Ace, look at this! Well done, Sandy. My pleasure. Sandy, pull up the report, please. This report is dated months before the Picatoa incident. 
Apparently, Anchor Division was warned about the issues with Leviathan, but surprise, surprise, they went ahead with the project anyway. Let me guess. IBS was threatening not to sign the Division's chicks. Bingo. Now listen to this. Our funding? Your salary. All of it's contingent on the Vortexer project. This Vortexer is the company's golden goose. They actually named it Golden Goose. Morons. It does suggest a lack of imagination. So what sets this goose apart from the standard Vortexer? His signs was risking everything on it. Look at his notes. If GG had been completed, this incident could never have occurred. Cindy, will you play back that part about the distortion levels? But the side effects, Dr. Signs, the space-time distortions we're seeing. Every time Leviathan opens a vortex, distortion levels spike through the roof and bleed out into the surrounding space-time. Mm. Space-time distortions. Mm, there's still pukenel dinosaurs all over the planet. Bollocks. This doesn't add up. If this golden goose was so safe, how do we end up with velociraptors at Wimbledon? This researcher knew there was a problem, and whoever she was, it looks like she caused this smaller accident to prove it. We should find out more about her. Alders, our goal is to get off this island. There is no time for curious goose chase. Just some peace. Hey, if you two flap your arms as fast as your lips, you can fly us all out of here. Right. Sorry, Chief. Madge, you won't. Planning on staying with Ibius when this is over? I mean, are you? Madge, I mean, I mean, this is pretty incriminating stuff. I have worked too hard to get where I am. I'm an exo fighter. What else can I do? Hey, are you okay? Hello? Well, I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sides. Wait, what? Oh, there's... Do you hear that? There's somebody in here. No, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, actually, put the gun down, please. Okay, there's lots of sensitive equipment in here, some of it between my bloody ears. Oh, there's... Be careful. We're in danger. Chief, would you mind telling him to put the gun down, please? Put down the gun, uh, Majesty. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Madge, just relax. Victoria, you are in oh. danger. Oh, dear. Hello? Uh, Madge. It is this thing. You all have got to learn to calm down. 